you just talk and... Yes. Well, what I was going to say was, um, the, the thing is, um, um, in art, you know, there are certain people who, be, who believes that art belongs to the gallery and all that, you know. And I really believe that art belongs to the street, you know, to the people and yeah. all that, you know. And so in that sense, uh, artists are just as uh, responsible, you know, as anybody else uh, towards the society because, you know, it, it's a sort of And just as influential, you know. Yes, so that uh, just as I, w I was going to say almost the same thing that Joan was saying right yeah. now, which was that uh, the fact that uh, if I become a politician, you know, that's why I think po politicians are sort of useless thing for me. If I become a politician, so there's so many red tape and all that, you know, and just to go through that, you know, I'm just going to be killed as a person, as spiritually, you know, as a yeah. person. So I think I'm communicating just as well and better, you know, through my work, you see, yeah. which John is doing too, but what I mean is... Uh, I really believe, for instance, when I made the smile film, you know, that the smile vibration that John sends to the world, you know, is going to uh, change the world much more uh, quickly yeah. and uh, more effectively than than any politicians can do. Yeah. You know? And so all and the without them knowing it, right? So all the vibrations that we are sending, you know, yeah. I always believe that. Uh, that is politics, you know. That yeah. is a, a quiet revolution, you know. And I, I believe in that kind of quiet revolution instead of violence, you know. Yeah. And I know that uh, these young students and all that, they, they're starting to be, get desperate now and saying, no, there's no way out. The establishment is never going to change. So we must uh, fight, you know. Yeah. And violence to violence, you know. But I don't believe that. I really think that uh, uh, the time is rolling faster and faster now, you know, because of the uh, est very uh, highly developed communication media, you know. And uh, uh, people can communicate instantaneously. So that, uh, uh, and another thing that's very good is that when you know something, you know, you can never unknow it. You know, so that uh, you say establishment, oh, they're never going to come through, you know. Yeah. But once you knock the door and once they open the door, they can't uh, close it, you and know. The point is that the establishment doesn't really exist, and the ones that do it, if it does exist, it's old people, and the older people that want to change it are young, people. Are young and they're going to be the establishment. Now, if they want to smash it all down and have to be laborers as well to build it up again, well, that's what they're going to get. But if they just realize that the establishment can't last forever, the only reason it has lasted forever is because the only way people have ever tried to change it is by revolution yeah. or, you know, violent revolution. And the idea is just to, just to move in on the scene, you know, that's all they have to do. So they can take over the universities, do all that, do all the things that are practically feasible at the time but not try and take over the state or smash the state or slow down the works and all that. All they've got to do is get through and change it because they will be it. No, but you see, the point is not to take over an institute or building, you know. That I was is, just saying I agree with the city. I know, but I mean, you know, uh, instead of taking over the building, they have to work uh, uh, against or towards the mind, you know. Yeah. It's the mind that has to be changed, you know, yeah. not the building. Just taking over the building is no good, you see. So the point is, uh, actually, everybody is really uh, now ready to open their mind, you know. And all you have to do is really just sort of say here, you know. And uh, the establishment, uh, which is sort of like a symbol of ignorance, you know, but... Uh, the people, there are going to be more and more people who are aware of things. Yeah. And statistically. Because, I mean, once you're aware of it, you can never not, not be aware of it, you know. So it goes on and on like that, you know, like an epidemic, everybody's going to uh, be aware of it. <laughs> you see, so there are going to be fewer and fewer people who are ignorant about things. I have a, a doubt here, which is, you say you have to communicate. In communication, there's power too. I mean, you give a message, it's mm -hmm. a monster around. Like, I was, uh, like 
I said, I loved you for signing Vietnam. I was angry at you for doing the taxman thing. Because I said, okay. The, the taxman song? Yeah, because in the end it's going but, to work out. But okay. that taxman song was an anti-establishment tax song where we said, if you walk the street, they'll tax your feet. If, they, yeah. if you buy a car, all that. Now, what have you got against that? Well, my point is also, it's going to be used for it. It might be used to say lower taxes. I want high taxes because I want to liberate people. Right. Oh, I'm, okay, at the time George wrote it, and I helped him with it, we weren't aware of the whole taxing. I still are. I'm not really aware of what goes on with the taxes. We believe that, you know, if you earn it, you may as well keep it, unless there's a communal or communist or Christian, real Christian society. That if we're going to live, while we're living in this, I protest against paying the government what I have to pay them. You know, what she was saying before is exactly what I said in Revolution, yeah. mm. in all the versions, is that change your head. Yes. Now, these people that are trying to change the world can't even get on together. In fact, they, they can't recognize a friend, which is me, yeah. and Yoko even, because they say, oh, they've, they've sold out, they've made it, whatever. They start attacking and biting each other's faces. Mm -hmm. And all the time, we're all pushing the same way, so we're going like that. But the, it's forward. Yeah. And if they, they keep doing that, that's going to kill it before it even moves. Yeah. Only luckily it won't, you know, it won't alter me, I'll still do the same. But it's, it's silly to bitch about each other and be trivial and not think in terms of at least the world or at least the universe and stop thinking in terms of factories and one country. Yes, and also money, you know. Money is just a concept, you know. Mo yeah. Actually, money is not money. Money is uh, like a, uh, an imaginary thing, almost, you see. And so that, why does, why does everybody feel that uh, people have to pay with money, you know? You can pay with a song even, you know, you understand? And what, that's what he's doing. He's playing to the society with, with a song. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Yes, yes. So that uh, uh, you have to understand that part. It, everybody's always thinking in terms of buildings, uh, money, anything that is material, you know. But material, materialism is just 20% uh, uh, of uh, our existence, you know. Our life cons consists of uh, mainly of uh, the spiritual world, the mind world, you know. And that's where we live, you see. So, uh, if you want to change the world at all, then that's where we have to change, you know. Not, not with money and buildings. Well, the thing is, I know how I felt when I was at college at 19 and 20, and I would have been completely for complete destruction. I always hoped for it anyway, just as a happening. <laughs> you know, and just to be able to go and loot or anything. Yeah. Just Would to destroy it. I would have done then, you know. I don't know whether I would. I still like stealing things, you know. I don't because I can't be bothered. But you don't do it. <laughs> but uh, you know, that's how I felt then. For uh, if there was somebody like me, I might listen. There's a chance that I might get through to five out of the twenty violent revolutionaries here, because the ones that are really militant and that they're exactly the same as the the people that are against. They're creating that same situation already. Yeah, but now, say, for example, I agree with you in most cases, but for example, imagine you're black in America, and you've been talking for 100 years. Yes, okay, I and believe in reincarnation, reincarnation, right? Yeah. So that's one thing that helps me in an overall view of things. Mm -hmm. I believe that I've probably been black, I've probably been Jewish, I've probably been female, I've probably been a tree or anything, and that helps a lot. So a lot of sort of intellectuals that are uh, reincarnation, but even so, you can make it. You know, it it might be tougher physically and materialistically yeah. to make it being black and that, but you can make it. You know, and I sympathise. I think it's terrible. I believe all the, the, you know, I believe it should be smashed one way or another. People's prejudice, but they won't change it really by violence. Okay, so. The black power scene, you know, good luck to it, because at least it's frightening them. But it might frighten them enough to kill them and have a real war. Okay, so then if the blacks took over, all well and good. But all the blacks aren't saints. You know, it's going to be the same scene, just a different version. You know, for instance, uh, I, I believe that uh, the uh, situation of the women in the world today, you know, 
It's like a woman is like like the nigger of the world. And so that's why we understand about the nigger folks very much, very well. But the... Uh, mm-hmm. oh, well, we just so, do this real. Yeah, yeah, okay, this real. Okay? Yeah. We do that for real. Do you like uh, rowing? Okay. <laughs> Stone. Shall we talk about money? Or if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, money. Uh, you want to talk about money? Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you oh. want to talk about money? She said it about money. I did say it already. Yeah. So what do you want me to say? I've well, got nothing to say about it. Well, about, uh, what's your situation? My situation is that the other day I was told that if I wanted to buy any more or waste any more money, which I do, either waste it by giving it to relatives or friends or people that want it, in the, always in the hope that they'll do something with it, you know, but it's like that. It doesn't work. And a few divorces... And suddenly I'm like the poorest beetle is surprising. So he said, if you want to use any more money, you'll have to sell something you already have. Now, I don't care if I have no money or a lot of money, you know. I'm not out to make more money, but I'm out to break even. Now, I've earned it, the money I've got. But a lot of other people who should be nameless have carved us up in the usual way that pop stars and people are carved up. And my main concern about money, I never bother about it, only the thought that there's quite a few people sitting comfortably having done nothing but trick us to get our money, you know. And I'd sooner throw it down the drain or give it away to the fascists or the Tories or the left wing or anybody (laughs) rather than just be conned. (laughs) I'm always conned, you know, because I'm straight fairly straight and I never realized I thought it was sharp you know and I wouldn't be conned but I've been conned all the time do you get this feeling which many stars have that you can't trust anybody oh well you know I trusted them all and don't I don't really trust anybody basically but I always open myself up to them and completely straight with them in the trust that inside them I trust them I trust their soul but through this That's why the accountant came up and said, now you've got to start selling, (laughs) which is the only thing that bugs me. It's ridiculous because of the amount of money we have earned, but not that we've got. All the stories about how much we've got is a lot of lies anyway. But we've got a lot of money compared with most people, you know. But it's just the fact that uh, being conned, you know, I'm getting used to it now. Why don't you publish, uh, say, the financial situation to cut off the lies? Because it's so complicated. I even asked my accountant, couldn't I just give it all away and just keep enough to live on? And it'd be so complicated to do that. And such a ritual and such a scene. Or why can't we set up a charitable first uh, trust for this, that or the other? Well, you can, but in five years... When you've set up a business that does this and the money goes through that, and that's beyond me, you know, I, I can't understand it at all. I've always had no regard for money. I've always wanted it. I wanted clothes if I was a kid or a guitar, but I only wanted certain objects, you know, or I dreamed of marrying a rich woman or something, or, or being a famous this. I never really, you know, money was no goal for me. Just my thing happened to earn me money, you know, and that's it. Yeah. There's an, uh, another thing that's... Uh, do you follow very really closely the sales of single that latest album, are you? Oh, sure, sure, yeah. you know. Especially singles, when they first come out, we follow how much the initial sales were. Not for the money reason, just to see how it's doing compared to the last okay. one. That's and a thing. Yeah, well, uh, just because we made it, you know. Yeah. And we like to know how it's doing everywhere. <clears throat> hey Jude, oh hey, the album's great, you know, it's, that's, uh, there's no worries with that. I mean, I don't know the sales figures, I just know it's top of the sale, LP chart, so that means it's winning, you know, and ditto in America. So that's good, I mean, we need that satisfaction, not the glory of number one, you know, just because we know this, like the last single was better than the one before that. So... We're pleased that that last single did much better than the last 10 or 20, or even yeah. better than all time I've heard, I'm not sure, you know, better than She Loves You even, because we're pleased with it, you know. Mm. And so that kind yeah, of interest, it's like a, 
any kind of artist who has a product, unless he's so pure, if he's going to be a real purist like the Flux people, they should paint their paintings or do their poetry and then rip it up but and not show not it to anybody. True either, in a way, but if you're going to show it, show it to everybody, you know, no, and you be see, interested. John, John, but the thing is that the main uh, purpose of art is communication. So yeah, yeah, Even I in a know, pure sense, you know, you don't paint and destroy But I mean, it, if you're going to be such a purist that you won't have any community, like the, you told me about the Flux people, won't have anything to do with anybody that's vaguely made it. Yeah, that's so true, what's he doing? Yeah, it's a know. paradox. That's a kind of snobbery, you know. Reverse it's inverted snobbery, snobbery yeah. Yes. Snobbery. I mean, if you're going to be trying to be a purist, which is stupid, I think, but I believed it at one time, that if you were an artist and you were going to be really pure, nobody should see it. You know, it, <laughs> it was enough to do it. Yeah. But, I mean, through the records, I broke through that. Yeah. But even with drawings and things, it, it was with talking to Yoko and she con you know, explained, convinced me, which I knew in my soul, but, you know, my prejudice wouldn't have it, that anything I draw or write is just as important communication-wise. I shouldn't just show it to friends. Mm -hmm. I should put everything out, mm -hmm. which is what I'm doing, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm very glad that you're doing it. Yeah. I'm very glad that you'd learn. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're talking about how you really are moving in two scenes, one being actually the underground scene. I thought that would well, be so powerful that whatever you did underground would pop up and become, say, get into a mass communication thing. It actually mm -hmm. turns out that that's not at all true, uh, too virgin thing. It's like anything else. Everybody, even at the height of Beatlemania, mm -hmm. Everybody thought all we had to do was touch something and turn to gold. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of the trivia, like Mickey Mouse or Beatles sweatshirt, mm -hmm. that might turn to gold, but not for us. And the, the Beatles only had to do that, and it was all right. And people are all saying, Apple's terrible. Mm -hmm. We've been going a year, we're all amateurs. We've put a lot of money in it and lost a lot of money in it, and we'll sink or swim with it. Everybody's saying, oh, Apple, Apple's this, Apple's that. Let them try it, you know. It's just, uh, I've forgotten what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> right. But uh, the point is that... Um, so it doesn't turn to gold, that was the point. Yeah. That Apple doesn't turn to gold. We've got to work just as hard as we did with the group yeah. to make it work. And just because Yoko's with me, all our old friends from the art world, all we ever get from them is bills or shillings that she mm. borrowed off them when she was broke or <laughs> well, will you buy my work mm. yeah. and most of it isn't worth buying mm. and that's all and so we try and get two ver we could hardly get two virgins out on apple i heard that yes, it was yeah, you know because they're people and they yeah. react